Why do people keep building, in your view, on blockchains that suffer from this trilemma? Because for all, you know, look, I don't have any interest in buying yeah. the, the monkey land, virtual land, et cetera, but obviously tons of money flowing into this space or flowing onto these chains. Why is that where, why does that seem to be where the action is on, tra on chains, which in your view don't necessarily solve it? So first of all, remember that uh, we are talking now about the blockchain 4.0 for a while until you don't have a choice. Why do you bring in something which is suboptimal? You know, well, uh, that's the only thing you, we have. So we have to, uh, to accept these limitations. But also perhaps uh, highlights the fact that very often, uh, so at least initially, um, uh, blockchains were uh, about speculation. And so, and so if you are somehow um, a gamer, if you have a, um, um, the spirit of speculation, you accept the risk of essentialization. Because you are accepting way other risks. But if you are really you know, a nation, if you have a big uh, institution, a financial institution, do you want to run the risk to handcuff you and your assets to a blockchain that is centralized, which means all decisions are taken by a small club, who can decide, by the way, to eliminate you from the economy? I don't think so. So as we move and to see that the, 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 uh, the real world economy, the traditional economy, I should say, migrates to the blockchain, they are going to be choosing carefully where to put their assets to gain efficiency for themselves, for their, for, um, um, their members, and, uh, and uh, they are going to be pick and choosy.